A DHHS employee says state officials knowingly misled the public about the safety of our drinking water. And the governor's office is saying that employee lied under oath about Governor McCrory's involvement in all of this. CBS North Carolina investigates Jonathan Rodriguez is live in the studio with details. Jonathan? Well, Sean, last year the state health department sent out letters warning people living near Duke Energy's coal ash ponds not to drink their water, that there were elevated levels of a cancer-causing contaminant. Meanwhile, the state environmental department was saying that the water was fine. It created all kinds of confusion. Well, fast forward to this year, DHHS then retracted their recommendations, saying the water was in fact safe. But a deposition by Dr. Kenneth Rudo, a longtime employee of DHHS who was involved in studying these water supplies, he says the state health director, quote, knowingly told people their water was safe when we knew it wasn't. He says the warning should have never been retracted, and then he tried to warn them not to do it. Rudo also says Governor McCrory called a specific meeting to discuss the letters and met with them by phone to talk about the wording. But in a late night press conference, McCrory's chief of staff said it was a lie. We don't know why Ken Ruto lied under oath, but the governor absolutely did not take part in or request this call or meeting as he suggests. The health department is not siding with Ruto. The communications director says the governor was not involved in any such meeting. They also say Ruto is questioning federal standards and they stand by their decision to call the water safe. Meanwhile, Duke Energy initially asked that this deposition not even be made public, saying it's hearsay and that it was not complete. They have filed a motion against that and the judge is currently reviewing it. Sharon. All right, John.